Good morning, it's James. It's so good to see you this morning. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your energy. I'm deeply grateful to have the honor and the blessing of laying eyes on you. And I hope and pray that all the people that you love are peaceful, thriving, and very well. A lot of people ask, <laughs> it's so fun, they'll go, okay, uh, you talk about this tree house. Is there really a tree house? Where is this tree house? Well, this tree house is in the mountains of Colorado. There's one of the trees that actually holds up the tree house. It's all beautiful old reclaimed barn wood. There's a kind of metal art of kind of showing me, my wife, our two kids, Dakota and Ellie, solar panel. I'll take you inside for a moment. I want to talk to you about the science of gratitude. I thought this was perfect because I'm just so grateful that I get a chance to bring you into this experience every morning from this beautiful place. Uh, it's my meditation area, beautiful little Zafus. There's my great drum. Behind me is a couch area with some handmade pillows. And you can just see, it's, um, it's absolutely just a simple, beautiful, peaceful place. So we've talked a lot about, <laughs> I just impromptu, wanna give you a little tour. Tour takes about, what, 12 seconds. Um, we've talked a lot about gratitude over the last several years, the science from uh, Dr. Emmons at the University of California, and all the amazing things. And uh, this morning I woke up and I was like, gosh, I can't wait to get to the treehouse. I'm so grateful that I get a chance to connect with you like this, that this community is so warm and inviting and always open to taking our lives to the place that we know in our hearts our lives are meant to be expressing from. And gratitude is an amazing elixir. Studies show that it can do pretty much all things when we have a gratitude practice, help with our heart health, help with our mental health, emotional well-being, helps boost our immune system, helps to build trust, helps us to be more contagious in a possible positive way with others in terms of being more open, more vulnerable, more kind, more wanting to be the change we wish to see in the world. And a lot of people have a gratitude practice um, based on some of the research on keeping a gratitude journal. But this really cool study, not but, and this really cool study came out for people who are really busy. And even if you're not busy, I think if you don't go, oh, I'm not busy, people go, what? Wait, what are you doing? You gotta be busy, that's kind of a thing. And I don't like being busy, I like being intentional with my time. And yes, there's times when I'm busier than I wouldn't want to be or don't wanna be. And some of my self-care practices can slide away, particularly at the end of the day when I'm tired. Because I get up in the morning at quarter of four, gets to like six or seven, and I'm just like, man, I'm, <laughs> I could fall asleep. And just like that, and sometimes I do. So for people who do have a lot going on, end of the day, the gratitude practice maybe seems like a little bit too much to ask. You're just not as present as you'd like to be. This study is amazing. It said just one day a week or one night a week, taking time to write down five things we're grateful for, again, one time per week, can boost our overall sense of happiness and joy by nearly 33%, one time a week. It actually can help to add upwards of 20 to 35 minutes of sleep a night. And on top of it, this is really, really interesting. Our desire to exercise goes up exponentially and we'll put at least 15 to 25 minutes of more concentrated, vigorous exercise into our week simply by taking a gratitude practice one time per week. So as you kind of take in this morning, think about the people, the things that you're grateful for in your life, know that I'm grateful for you. Let us absolutely give ourselves permission to dedicate at least one night a week to stepping way back and looking at our life and just saying thank you. I think gratitude is the highest form of prayer. Just saying thank you, opening your heart and just looking around, seeing the blessings in your life. Know that you are a blessing in my life. This community is a blessing in my life. And I wish you a day of infinite blessings. Give yourself permission to celebrate the life that you've created and go out in the world and shine bright, bold, and beautifully. Be contagious. Have an awesome day. Much love. All blessings. Bye for now.